What's the situation? Uh, we got a hold up gun sour. Three guns locked themselves in with two hostages. I tried to go on through the front, but the place is a fortress. I nearly got a mouthful of lead for my trouble. All right. I'll see if I can get in through the back. All right, I'll stay here and keep them busy. All right. So now we have to go in through the back. Follow our partner. He knows go. the way. Try the back. Of course, I know the way, too. I've done this mission. You see, at the beginning here, I'm going to pretty much know, like, the first 13 or so street crimes. But once we uh, start to get further along, where I stopped, I started ignoring the street crimes because they kept coming up and getting in my way. Um, I am actually going to uh, be a little blind on those after a while. Reinforcements are on the way. All right, so uh, note that I just got my hat blown off. Quick up the stairs, get after him. Wish I could pick up my hat, but I don't really care to. Like, picking up your hat doesn't really mean much. It's not like you got eight extra HP or anything, and yeah, it's a hostage situation. Put the weapon down, now! Alright. Got him! So yeah, you gotta be very careful. You'll automatically be in L2 mode, so you'll be able to aim. All you really need to do is just use the right control stick to move your gun ever so slightly, usually to the upper left there like I did, because that's usually always where they peek out first. And if you can shoot them Carl in the face K. there, then you pretty much defuse the entire hostage situation. Globe loan and jewelry. It's code four now, but the suspect is down. I need an ambulance here. I notify my supervisor and the coroner. So yeah, that's a hostage situation. Uh, not that hard. Um, but of course it has issues where you can def it might be hard to defuse and where I am don't even think I'm going the right way. Sometimes I think I'm taking a shortcut, but it's really not. And that's the sad part. And sometimes you think you're taking a shortcut, but you're not. Oh no! Didn't mean to turn on the siren. Kind of got a little careful with the L3 there, because sometimes you will activate your siren unintentionally. But yeah, that's how a hostage situation goes down. Um, basically aim for the upper left as soon as you uh, get the prompt to do so. And uh, if you do it right, you should defuse the situation as soon as possible. Now, if you wait too long, like 30 seconds or something, um, you'll get like two, three chances to... Uh, get like two or three chances to... Uh, shoot the guy in the face or something like that. If you f if you don't manage to do it, if you don't fire off a shot before then, he'll just shoot the victim. He apparently doesn't have and they never seem to have any real um grasp of the idea of a, what a hostage actually is. So, after 30 seconds, he'll just shoot it in the face. And if you miss the first shot, if you miss the first shot, you have like a second to just like clip them or something. But even then, they're just going to shoot the guy and you'll basically get screwed. So you need to make sure that first shot really counts. Okay, so we got number four coming up here. Uh, this is, this, you can already see why I am a little frustrated with the street crimes because the thing is, after you start going through like four in a row before you even get to like the first or second mission marker in the current crime you're in, th this just gets really agitating. It, it's a good thing they do spread them out over the course of the game, but still, you know, they, they could at least wait a little longer before they m make you respond to another one. So, yeah, coming up on number four here, and uh, if this is the one I'm thinking of, this will be the last street crime for uh, a bit of time, which is good. Then, as you can imagine, four in a row, this is, a mi this is madness. And I haven't even gotten to the black residence yet. You see, this is where it comes into play, though, the whole uh, pulling over thing. They'll pull it off to the right when they hear the siren. Which sounds good, but really, it's, um... It can be kind of bad if you're on the right when they're pulling over, so, uh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, 
run out of things to say, which is something I'm surprised of, because this is like the only point in the game where I actually get to talk. Finally! We're starting to think nobody would show. What have we got? The Third Street Gang and the Diamond Street Gang. Mexican kids with nothing better to do than howl at each other. But no bloodshed so far. Shit! Hope you brought plenty of Stuck ammunition, sir! All right, well... LAPD, drop your weapon! Reload. How long do you think you can hold All up? right, so... Yeah, the good news is we have unlimited ammunition for our pistol here. I think I'm gonna have to move up. Try and move up a bit. Get into cover because there's a second wave coming. You have to imagine how good our shot is if we can hit this guy from way over there. I need cover! Oh wow, one shot. Nice. Oh, and there's a rifle there. I could have picked that up. Huh. Well, yeah, sometimes you gotta keep your eyes open because there'll be like rifles and stuff scattered across the ground sometimes. And it's a good idea to pick up other weapons because the pistol, as Sorry wonderful as, it, as it is. I need an ambulance at 1624 West 3rd Street. Code 4. Shots fired and suspects are down. Roger on the ambulance, 11K. All units be advised, code 4 on the major 415 on West 3rd Street. Suspects are down. As wonderful as the pistol is with its unlimited ammunition, it has somewhat limited range and power. It's really better to try to pick up another weapon when you can. Sure, they actually have limited ammunition reloads, but hey, you at least get more range and power out of them usually. Like the shotgun, for instance. It's Okay, not that good at uh, short range, at long range, but still, it's it has it has it has potential. So yeah, I was actually wrong. That's not the last street crime, unfortunately, for this uh, part of the game. There's like one other one which I haven't gotten to yet. Though that was a fun one with the gang fights. I I do like the gun fights in this game. It has a certain level of action to it that I really do enjoy. Uh, maybe if I'm lucky, I can reach the uh, mission marker before I uh, get pulled into that other street crime. But of course we all know that's not going to happen. Actually, I'm pretty close to the place, actually. Maybe I can pull it off. If you use the siren, maybe those metal things in front of you called cars would know you're in a hurry. Yeah, you can shut up, Bukowski. I don't think that's his actual name, but meh. I'm calling him Bus Bukowski or something. I may be pronouncing it wrong. Meh. I don't care. If I'm fast, I might get there in time. Actually, let's check the map and see how far away I am. Oh god, that's way on the other side of town. And you know what? By the time I even get close, there's gonna be another street crime. Yep, called it. So this ought to be the last one. This has to be the last one. Why do I have a feeling I'm gonna hit a dead end all of a sudden? Nope, no dead end. Don't pull over. I will destroy this city if I need to, but I am responding to these street crimes. Yeah, sometimes the AI will make it such that you have to commit property damage, which is kind of sucks. It really does. You know what the funny thing is? You can actually hijack other people's cars in the name of the law. So, like, I could steal anyone's car, to be honest. I could do that, but I don't want to, because there's no real purpose to doing so. Aside from getting someone else's car, which is not bad, but the thing is, if you have anything other than a police car, it's not like you carry the siren with you. Instead, all you get is a horn, which only honks off as you're holding the button down. Oh no, I hit a person. That's not good. K responding. Go ahead. Well, this is where they first kind of tell you, oh no, stop doing damage. You're doing more harm than good. Oh god, there's another street crime after this. 
I forgot how many Damn. street crimes they unlock at first. Why these this places is... have so much preparation age. Ooh-wee! Benny's give me speed. Okay, now this guy's unarmed, meaning I can try to pull off a warning shot here. Oh god, he's this is gonna be a car chase now though. Nope, not a car chase. Why are you not climbing over the fence? And I can't pull out my gun, so, uh... Nope, I gotta just chase this guy. Through a construction site, of all things. So, try to keep an eye on where the perp is, because... Locations like this, it can be really easy to lose track of where they're going. He reaches the edge, and that's pretty much it, I would think. Oh, gonna be up. Alright. Alright, so it's a fist fight, not a warning shot. Damn it. I really want to show that off. It's Warning shot is really hard to pull off, but if you can get it to go off, it ends up chase right there and then. Oh well. In any case, I'm um, really hoping to show off a bit more of fist fighting, because these guys go down way too fast for me to really do much of anything with. It's really kind of sad. But in any case, yeah, if you're trying to rank up, uh, the street crimes are the best way of doing that, because you get 15 experience per pop. You will level up. At this point in the game, you will at least go up 2-3 levels at this point, and there's still one more left. I know there is one other street crime open at this point in the game, so... We are still not done with them, my god. How long have I been doing- How long have I been doing street crimes? 20 minutes? This is how long the game can go on if you're not careful. Whoa! Whoa! Oh Open my god, what did I do? Oh my god. I think I was having car sex for a moment there. I know that's gonna give me some negative comments, but... F that, come on. That was amazing, though. That was just... <laughs> okay, that was... That was fun in a ridiculously stupid sense. Oh, uh, but I'm probably gonna get some bad karma on my, uh end of score thing because of how I ran over three different cars or something like that at once I don't know that was fun though and miraculously our car repairs itself after any major incident be it a street crime um, a story case oh hey look it's our lo it's our destination holy crap am I actually gonna get there before another street crime pops up yes I did amazing well, now we can proceed with the story! Ha 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 ha! Oh god. Eh, I'm actually curious now. Do I actually have a. Let's go well, I can't check right now, but. You talk to her, Phelps. I'm not good at this shoulder to cry on stuff. Just a minute! There she is in the living room. LAPD, Mrs. Black. May we come in? We have some bad news, and we'd rather discuss this in private. I'm Margaret Black. Oh, we can discuss this in the living room. Please come in. Alright, let's go into the living room then. Your husband drives a blue Lincoln, Mrs. Black? That's correct. The car has been found abandoned, and I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. I knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. We believe your husband may be injured. We found a pipe on the scene with blood on it. Oh, no! My poor Adrian! Does the name Insta-Heat mean anything to you, ma'am? Yes, it does. We've just had a new water heater installed. Whereabouts, Mrs. Black? Just outside the kitchen window, at the side of the house. I'd like you to try and stay calm and remember everything that you can about last night. My partner and I are going to take a look around. When you're ready, we're going to have some more questions for you. Is that okay? Of course, officer. Anything to help secure my husband's safety. Alright, so now we get to search Let's the crime the scene. Come on. Why'd I have call this a crime around. scene? There's got to be something in here to go on. All right, But uh, let's go ahead and show off what happens if you use a point of intuition for showing off clues. So as you can see now, everything of significance is highlighted with a... With, um, uh, 
a magnifying glass. So, let's start in here. We find a ticket. A used ticket to Seattle and a suitcase gone missing. Someone couldn't wait to get out of this house. Well, we have over here. Glasses. This must be Adrian's. Investigate further. Stenzel. So the glasses are a match. Alright. And let's check out this picture here. Hmm. Looks pretty generic. But if we check the back. Aha! To my Adrian. This thing gets more and more interesting. The plot thickens. Alright. There should be one more over here. Kavanaugh's. So who brought this home? Maybe Adrian was a patron. R and I should have an address. Alright, so what he means by R and I is that we have the option to call in police headquarters for stuff like addresses and other stuff that may or not be interesting. This was only recently installed, not two days ago. Hmm. Maybe it's time we took a look around outside. Uh, not yet. The major clue is outside, but you want to look over absolutely everything because even the small stuff that doesn't really even pernate to your investigation can turn into a clue, like this flyer. Alright. Let's see what else we have. We have a, another clue right here. Okay, the heater is on the other side. Yes, I know where this stuff is ahead of time. Oh! No, that's not what I want to look at. What I want to look at is over here. Newspapers count it cl as clues for some reason. Well, let's look at this. Lie down. Make yourself comfortable. So, you're a friend of Courtney's. Yes, Doctor. He seems very concerned about you. I have these visions. These blinding visions. I can't get them out of my head. My skull, it, it feels like it's in a vice. I want to give you something to calm your nerves. I want to take you on a journey. A journey back. I want you to remember the good things about the past. Occasions that made you laugh. Times that made you smile. Huh. So more story to the doctor here. Interesting. Uh, so I suppose I misspoke. Um, p newspapers aren't really considered clues, but if you want to find all 13, using intuition can sometimes help you find them where Otherwise, they're not. They're, they're considered part of the crime scene for some reason, but, uh... Oh, yeah, there was a little shake here, wasn't there? Hedge clippers. Incidental. Incidental. Moving on to the actual major clue here. The heater. No use leaving the thing half-finished. So now we got a puzzle here. All these pieces will be used, but you need to figure out where they go. So it's not that hard a puzzle, you just need to pick up each piece, see where it fits. Coal is usually nice enough to just manipulate it to the way in which it would fit. And the colors do help to uh, put things together as well. It's really not that hard, this is like one of the easier puzzles. So the pipe missing from Mr. Black's here is the same one that killed him. Seems like the assailant is a little closer to home. Interesting. That's all the clues. Let's hurry back inside. We got a few things we need to do now. First off, let's use the telephone and call in R and I. 
Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? I need an address on a Kavanaugh's bar. Certainly, Detective. One moment. Kavanaugh's bar, corner of Aliso and Hewitt, south side of Union Station. Thanks, ma'am. All right. So now that we've done all this, all let's right. talk no. with our. Let's talk with Margaret Br Black. We found a receipt in the trunk of your husband's car for a live pig. This receipt was made out to an F. Morgan. A pig? Adrian runs a tool business. That would be Frank Morgan. God knows what he's up to. Well, she's talking pretty straightforward here, so she must be telling the truth. What makes you say that about Morgan, ma'am? He's the foreman at my husband's plant. A very shady character. I told Adrian he needs to keep his distance from the staff. They're always out drinking together. All right. Was your husband wearing his glasses when he left here yesterday? Yes, he just bought a new pair. All right, so here's actually the question I got screwed up on when I was playing through this the first time. Uh, let me just pause it here. It doesn't hurt you to go into your pause menu from time to time during investigations. I think waiting too long advances it, and you kind of lose credit for it or something. Also, you can pull up start, and you actually pull up this... Uh, this log here, this transcript of every word set up to this point. So if you need to refresh your memory, it's all here. Hooray. But, um, yeah, just a note on uh, this question. Remember what we said at the crime scene? That it was a, uh, ha it was a home repaired pa uh, pair of glasses. So when I first played through the game, you'd think, ah, oh, home repaired, and she says it's a new pair. Why do I doubt that? It's a lie. Let's use the glasses. Well, actually, the truth is, it's the truth. Go on. I kept telling him to throw those old ones away. He tried to repair them with tape. They looked terrible. Yep, so this is a problem I have with the game where it just throws me for a loop. I, I take things too literally. That's why I'm terrible at the interviews. I don't really look at the facts that well. Did your husband tell you where he was going last night? All he said was he was going to meet Frank for a drink. So she's being straight and forward. We know she's telling the truth. But I want to show off intuition again. Let's go ahead and show Ask the Community. If you know it on the left there, it says 99% of players chose the correct answer. So let's ask the community. And this is what they say. So we know it's the truth, though. Nothing so, no problem. Usual, well, he came home early from work. He never comes home early. Interesting. And he went out early, too. He normally never leaves for the bar till about 7. So do note that you get more questions the more clues you find, so it's really helpful to just take a really good look around. Tell us about the photo of Adrian in the bedroom. What is there to tell? It's from his most recent business trip to Seattle. Well, she certainly sounds upset. She's, well, we know for a fact that she's lying, because we got the picture to prove it, but let's show, remove an answer, and show how it affects the lie pathway. There's plenty to tell. You just won't tell it. You're lying about the photograph, Mrs. Black. You're incredibly rude and insensitive. But I guess you know that. I've told you what I know about the picture. Now, as I said, you can back out of a lie accusation if you feel you did it wrong. But in this case, we actually do know about the concealed message. What about Nicole, Mrs. Black? Was your husband going to leave you for her? I've seen the photo frame. <laughs> he thinks I'm stupid. But women sense these things. I don't know. If he intended to leave me, or if it was just a fling, God only knows. I only want to know that he's safe. Alright, so I didn't really talk about it, but yeah, as you notice, if you use uh, remove an answer, 
and you happen to be going into the lie pathway, it strikes out half the evidence that has nothing to do with it. So if you're doing lie, it does help. Your husband frequents Kavanaugh's bar? How did you know that? Adrian practically lives there after work. Hmm. Look us dead in the eye. It's the truth. So Adrian spends a lot of time there. Up until recently, he's been away in Seattle a lot on business. Alright, and now last but not least, her alibi. I think you should come clean with us, Mrs. Black. Your husband is missing, and after our search, I'm willing to call the circumstances suspicious. Can you account for your movements last night? You're not accusing me, are you? Oh, what an awful thing to say. I was here all night, of course, waiting for Adrian to come home. This looks us dead in the eye. The emotion is genuine. Think it's safe to say? She's telling the truth. Is there anyone who can vouch for that? Well, no. I, I was here alone. I cooked Adrian's dinner and waited, but he never came home. We'll keep you informed, Mrs. Black. Please do, Detective. You can cheer up, son. Call the All right, so we're done here. Let's move on to the next scene, which will be the bar. And of course I'm driving. Because I'm a terrible driver, and while my partner will get us there faster and with better convenience, it I just love to drive in this game. It's, it's actually fun to drive in this game when you're not crashing into everything. And I just love being able to talk, too, instead of having to wait until everyone shuts up. Jesus, I'm glad uh, to get out of there. Mr. and Mrs. Black don't seem to have the happiest home life. He's too scared to divorce her, and she's too much of a shrinking violet to throw him out. If this hadn't happened, they could have stayed miserable together forever. You think she could have killed him? She sure as hell doesn't seem the type. Stranger things have happened. Alright, so... We're probably gonna get that last street crime at this point in the game anytime now. On my way to the bar. Anytime now. Waiting for it. I called it. I love how everyone just pulls over all at once. That That's what I expect when I have the siren blowing. Even the police pull over for me. That is awesome. Oh no! Idiot! Look before you turn! I would think the giant siren blaring out of the tunnel would be some clue. <laughs> oh god. Uh oh, there it is right there. Oh, this is a new crime actually. What took you so long? They're getting away. What happened here, sir? They they had guns. Dirty louses oh God, took everything and then booked. They went that way, the, the, the stairs alongside the track. I think this is a crime I haven't done yet. Gotta locate the suspects. Before they get away. LAPD! Cops, time to duck! Take it away from the car! Stop it, Phelps! Oh god! They actually have guns! I didn't realize that. Well, shit! I died. Now I have to start over again. Again.